Happy New Year. Welcome back to, well, I guess the first YouTube video going up in 2022. I was definitely planning on doing like a what Chris and I got each other for Christmas video, but between Vlogmas, well, <laughs> between being pregnant in the first trimester, Vlogmas, the holiday season as is, Guide Launch, the new Fit and Functional 12 week challenge is live. There was just a lot going on and we had some family staying with us for a little bit so I decided to just take all the pressure off myself, not worry about recording. Family members staying with us left yesterday. So we took yesterday as like a full chill, relaxing day and we're right back to it and I'm so excited. So today's gonna be a full day of eating. I know it's been a minute since I've done one. This looks very similar to what I would normally have except I'm using more whole eggs than egg whites because the nutrients for the baby I need. So I have a Dave's Killer Boomerberry Bagel with the cornbread butter and a omelet with two whole eggs and some extra egg whites added in, bell peppers, onions, turkey sausage, and a little bit of cheese on top. So I'm gonna eat this. I do need to go to the grocery store or Chris is gonna go to the grocery store. One of us needs to go. We're going to meal prep some, I think, some chicken tortilla soup like in the crock in the crock pot which sounds really good and we need to get the cat's food we have to get a lot of stuff but welcome to the video hopefully you had a wonderful christmas and new years and are super excited for 2022 <laughs>
trying a new recipe. This is a chicken tortilla soup. It can obviously be made in the crock pot because crock pot meals are just the best. So we will see how this is. I'm gonna let it sit for two to, f well, probably four to five hours. Um, I'm gonna leave it on high for a little bit and then I will turn it on to low. Possibly gonna have that for dinner tonight. I mean, at this point, why not? But I'm hungry. of the day is my smoothie. I made a cup of coffee this morning and ended up barely drinking it. I got distracted, cleaning, whenever I have more energy, I wanna try to like catch up on everything around the house, so I took laundry up. I also have been getting a lot of baby stuff. So, I still have so much work to do in what will be the nursery, but I started organizing some stuff. We got diapers because there was a huge sale on, I don't think it was Black Friday. It was around Christmas or something. So I ordered some diapers. I'm going to take those up. So it's been a lot of organizing computer work and then organizing, cleaning, cooking. Now I'm going to have my second meal. Okay, I figured I would show you. This room is still an absolute mess. This is where I kept all my active wear. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. These are all things that are getting donated or going to Plato's Closet. These are old t-shirts from high school I have to figure out what the heck I wanna do with. <laughs> these are all the leggings from the legging challenge. So once I'm done, I'm literally gonna get rid of like half of these. This I think we're gonna give back to my dad or get rid of. I think my dad said he would want it. So gonna get rid of that. We got the nursery chair. I'm so happy with it. I don't know if you can see, it has the cute little gold bottom. And it is an electric recliner. It goes back so far. Oops. This comes out all the way and it literally leans back like all the way, which is super nice. It has the little phone charger. This was for sure super expensive, but this is what I feel like 50% of the people recommended. So it's Baby Leto. It's like Kiwi something. Um, this was a limited edition one. So I really like the material on this. The cats, um, they will pluck at this probably, but with this kind of material, it won't show as much. I got these cute little bins from Pottery Barn. This isn't where they're gonna stay, but you know, it's where they are for now. Before my mom knew it was a girl, she bought these little bibs for next year literally a full year from now, but you know, they're so cute. So I'll take it. And then I ordered these to go on. I actually ordered cozy earth sheets for the crib, but I also got these ones cause I thought they were cute. I'm sure, you know, I feel like you can't have too much of those. And there's um, a changing table cover and a little mattress pad or mattress cover and okay the lighting probably isn't going to be ideal but I got these from Crate and Barrel if you've never looked at Crate and Barrel's baby section wow it's all super cute basically I want everything I want all of the toys uh <laughs> I ordered I ordered a bunch of stuff but I also did hold back because I'm like okay I will have a little baby shower. Like, calm down. Um, but this is a cute little, like, tummy time sensory toy um, or, like, sensory little block, whatever you want to call it. But, oh, my gosh, I just thought it was so cute. So it's, like, the little woodland theme. Um, they had some that were, like, flowery and... A little bit more like girly but I want to keep the nursery as neutral as possible because we do want multiple children multiple babies and I just feel like keeping it neutral and then just like adding in little accents of color sounds way more appealing than doing like you know full-blown really girly room and also if you know me at all you know I am not super girly like that's just, that's just not me. So I'm going to try to keep it super neutral. I thought this was very fitting for that. And I know I already showed these, but I think these are the cutest little bins. And then I got the matching 
little play mat. I'm not going to take this all the way out because I want to keep it in here actually. But it looks the exact same. It has all the little woodland creatures and like all the little, um, these all like Velcro on and off. And they have little strings. So there's a lot for baby to play with. And once again, I just thought it was adorable. I still need to find a nice rug for in here. I feel like we'll probably do the crib on this wall and then like the dresser and changing table over there or vice versa. I mean, that's the one thing with this room. It gets tons of natural light and I love it. Like it's a very warm, cozy room, but this whole wall is closet. So I'll, pro I'll keep like a little, I'll get a nicer white little thing for there. Um, but there's really only two usable walls cause that wall is all window. I could get like a corner shelf and I want to get a fiddle leaf plant. I need to bring my one up from our bedroom and see if I like it in here. Cause then I'll just order that off of, uh, world market or I'll go pick it up from world market. They always have those. So yeah, that's what I have so far. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, because I have a problem. Uh, I already ordered these cute little clothes, cute little outfits, these little bows, and <laughs> there's two little pairs of sunglasses in these and they're adorable. And this little like natural rattle. I don't know. I already had these bins. I think those are just from Target, um, but that's gonna fit the theme very well. Basically going for like a more boho, mainly boho theme, but if there's like a little bit of like farmhouse in there, cool. And yeah, so that is what I've done in the nursery, clearly. <laughs> I have a lot more to do, but the thing is, I literally will get rid of all of this in one trip because whatever Play-Dohs doesn't take, I'm gonna take to, um, I'm gonna take to donate. So that will be gone. I will move this downstairs. The main thing is figuring out what I'm gonna do with this. So I still have plenty of time. And then I actually bought these to go in my office and I never hung them up. There's three separate little pieces of artwork, like the little discs. So those could definitely go in here. Who knows where, but I already have those. The soup is technically done, but I wanna let it sit for a little bit longer just because I feel like, you know, with all crock pot things, the longer they sit, the more flavorful they are and just overall better. And it's only 4.30, <laughs> so I think that's just gonna be our main dinner. We were originally gonna do steak and asparagus or steak and broccoli, but since that's gonna be ready right around dinner, might as well do that. Um, I'm gonna have a snack doing the little pita thins and a roasted red pepper hummus. And I'm gonna keep filling out the little bump book I got. I got the bump book and then I also got like the full baby, um, show you. Where is this from? Cause I feel like I'm 100% gonna get asked a question. Oh, it's from Write To Me. They were, ho they were showing ads on Instagram and I was a total sucker for it. Comes in this cute little box and as you heard me say, I wanna keep it like very neutral, boho, love. So, comes in this cute little box that's really nice. And then this is obviously much bigger than the bump book. So I got these two. Um, but the baby book has name, date of birth, time, like, I mean, well here, let's see here. The table of contents about my parents, about my family, my home, grandparents, aunt, uncles, pregnancy, celebrating baby bump, birth details, birth story, name. Um, I think I got, let's see here. All my first, my teeth, funny thing I said, journal. I think this is my first birthday, my first vacation. This is either through, I forget, you could order like, does it say on the side? Okay, first five years. Yeah, so they had different ones online. They had one that was like just the first year and then there was like the first 10 years, I think. So I got the first five years. Um, we'll see how it goes, <laughs> but I thought these were really cute. So these are the ones I decided to go with. Let's go like this. So far, I'm really happy with it, but I had just been taking notes or taking notes in my notes app up to this point. So I'm trying to move all of them over to here 
just so it's all in one spot. And I can keep these up in her room. That's the other thing. I need to get like a little bookshelf for up there. All right, I'm gonna eat the hummus and pita. That's the one thing I'm still craving, all the savory stuff. Fruit always tastes really good. And Chris got fruit at the store today, so I'll probably have fruit later for a snack as like a light snack after dinner. But for now, I'm, I really want some savory pita thins and this. this full day of eating. I mean, all my full day of eatings are more just like vlogs where I show every single thing I eat rather than just most of my meals. But I just got a package that I, to be honest, totally forgot about. If you haven't noticed already, I mean, I always live in like active wear clothes, so it's like always comfortable. But since becoming pregnant and just being super bloated with all the progesterone going everywhere, and now starting to actually show a little bit. I've been living in loungewear. So yes, activewear is comfortable, but I just want like loose clothes. I'm actually shocked today I have leggings on. I don't normally, I'm wearing like literally pajama pants <laughs> and like matching lounge sets. So Athleta, I got an email um, from them and they were having a sale on loungewear. So I ordered a bunch of stuff because I'm gonna be my biggest in the summer. So already shorts and tank tops and t-shirts are ideal. And I have been running so hot this entire time. So I've been living in shorts and t-shirts anyway. Chris is like, I'm freezing. How are you not cold? I'm like, I don't know. I'm always burning up. So shorts, these are the, I'll try to link some of these down below. I think I got multiple sets, like two different kinds of shorts. Uh, just in multiple colors. These are the wind down sleep short. I got mediums and everything because I'd rather them be once again looser <laughs> than too tight and I figure I'll kind of grow into them. Wind down sleep cami, a nice loose tank top. This I don't think had a matching top or it was sold out. These are the nighttime bliss sleep short. Very cute. This is a matching set. What is this? Oh, this is soft. Um, Nighttime Bliss Sleep Tea. So yeah, I figured I can just like mix and match. Mix and match these. But um, the Nighttime Sleep Short, these are not high-waisted, I don't think. These ones are. So I have a feeling I'm going to like these a little bit more. Those are the waffle material. These are just like a jersey material but a nice oversized t-shirt, nice and lightweight. Obviously the colors are right up my alley as well. You know, I like pastel colors and that's literally all I got. <laughs> I look like um, I'm preparing for Easter. Same short. Oh, this is what I got to like mash with the pink, AKA just go with whatever bottoms I have on because this looked so comfortable. The same nighttime sleep shirt, just in a gray to kind of go with everything. And also, if you've noticed, all the sleep shorts I wear um, are very old and really just need to be thrown out. Like they are pilled beyond belief. So I'm kind of hoping these will replace all my pajama shorts. I got the gray pair. And then the last set I got is the same waffled set, but in this really pretty like orangey yellow color. So I got the same Cami, so pretty, I love that color. And shorts, so. <laughs> look, at, look at these colors. Is this not me or what? <laughs> I love my pastels. And it'll be perfect for summer when I'm nice and big and very hot and uncomfortable. And perfect for now, because I'm already really hot. So. I will try to link these down below. I don't know if they're still on sale. Oh, it did seem like they were selling out pretty quick, which is why I couldn't get like the matching set of all of these, but they're very soft. snack. 
snack of the day is a Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt, handful of blueberries, raspberries, and some strawberries. I wasn't hungry like all day and then randomly we were sitting down watching a movie <laughs> and I was starving. So I'm going to have this. We'll definitely have something after. I think I actually have some leftover ice cream, but we'll just, we'll see what I'm in the mood for after this. How good does that look? Oh, let's go. Right? Next and probably last meal of the day because I'm tired and my, my head is killing me. I probably need to take some Tylenol. I'm having a tuna melt because I plugged in my macros for the day, which is probably the first time in, oh my gosh, since the last full day of eating I did on like my Instagram story probably. And now that I'm in my second trimester, I'm eating above maintenance. So I wanted to make sure I am hitting the calorie amount I'm supposed to be at and the tuna melt is getting me there. There's mayonnaise, mustard, obviously two pieces of bread, tuna, and a slice of cheese on it. If I'm still hungry, I'll have something else, but it's 8.45, so I would assume this would be, this would be it. But if not, you'll see me in a second <laughs> or it'll be the outro clip. Hey, um, I'm gonna go to bed, which means I need this. This is mine. Yeah, this is my pillow. No? You look very comfy. Oh, yeah. That is gonna be it for the video and the full day of eating. The tuna melt was indeed my last meal. I almost made some lemon ginger tea because it sounds really good, but my head really hurts like I mentioned and I'm just really tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. I have my hydro jug next to me to drink water over the next 20 minutes. Is that good for my bladder? No, but hopefully more water will help my head. I'm gonna finish up reaching out to potential affiliates for worth it to hopefully send some more promo boxes to for like 30 more minutes and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I should be asleep by 10 p.m., which is actually a little bit later than I would prefer because with how tired I get, I'm literally out of breath <laughs> from getting ready for bed. With how tired I get, literally, it's still at like, even though I feel better, it's still at like 2.30, I just feel like I hit a wall, which I'm the most productive in the morning I always have been, so I feel like I just, I try to get so much done, and when I feel better, or on the days I feel better, I try to do the same amount of stuff I would have pre-pregnancy, and my energy levels just simply don't allow for it, so... From like 6 a.m. to 2.30, I'm really productive. And then 2.30 to bedtime is like normal Kelly in slow motion. <laughs> I still get stuff done. It takes me a lot longer. I get tired. I have to sit down. I have to take breaks. But you know what? We're doing the best we can. And I'm excited to get back onto a vlogging routine. Comment down below if you have any videos in particular you want to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I stole his pillow and he's still just chilling. Buddy! Are you coming up? No? Okay, good night. <laughs>